talking about. Just what I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Got it! Holy crap! Guys, today's the day after Thanksgiving. I'm waiting on my buddy Will right now. We're going to do a little short two-mile float on the Black River for walleye. It is overcast. It is going to start raining at noon. So we'll just have about three, four good hours. But I, I'm going to go ahead while I'm waiting on him and throw where you've seen me and her in our last video catching the bass off this bluff. See if I can get a fish or two real quick. All right. I just seen a big bass right there. He went under the bluff. There he went. A couple of them underneath there. Oh, he hit it. Something hit it. A lot of fish holding the spring during the winter because it's so warm compared to the regular river. There he is. Oh yeah, first cast guys. They're always here, man, and they're nice. Wow. Nice, it's a real large mouth again too. I don't know what the deal is with that. This river is infested with spotted bass. But the largemouth always seem to be at this spring. All right, caught him on the missile. Shockwave. Little guy, about 11 inches. It's a start. on his first bass and it's a large mouth and it's nice pretty nice one over here in the thing yeah over here in the slough below the spring entrance and uh he already had a small mouth on about two or three minutes ago now he already got his first large mouth this is loaded with fish right here but it's too risky to cast you gotta have a bobber and minnow speaking of that i got damn minnow I'll save them for the walleye though. The old plain jig head with nothing on it but a minnow trick. Smally in that, so it's a good sign for what time, little time we've actually. Man, he's on him again. Crappie? Ah, uh, man. They're actually biting really damn well. I would think if we caught this many already. This woman at the boat ramp before you got here, she thought I was nuts. She goes, you're going fishing in this? She goes, you know it's going to, a rain's coming, don't you? I go, yeah, don't come till noon. <laughs> she thought I was like some crazy psycho. <laughs> I just want, I want to get a crappie right here. I usually do. Any minute now, I might get one. They got a good average. This river has the best average for crappie I've ever seen. They're always nines and tens. Third fish. A lot of these bass are real largemouths too today. 
I think that is. It's kind of hard to tell on that one. Huh. It's wanting to suck us out. Yep. And they're stacked in this hole. And that ain't a spring, it's just a slough that goes back. It's an It's an old river channel. So I got my first smallmouth of the day on the missile, little little 10 inch. But it is a smallmouth. We got three different kinds now. Spotted, largemouth, and smallmouth. Now we just need crappie, wall, and goggle We got two hours before the rain is supposed to hit. Probably gonna end up being a cold, wet, miserable day. But so far it's worth it. Mm -mm. I was kind of dragging the bottom to get him too. He's right on the edge of that current. There's a smallmouth. Good job, man. Good job. Ain't the one we're after, but hey. I got one. I think I got. Yep, I got one. It's not a walleye, but hey. All right, guys. Hey, we're on the smallmouth today, I guess. Fishing for walleye, but we'll take whatever we can get. Ended up being a good day now already. This is the hole, isn't it? <laughs> uh -huh. Two fish right away. I anchored in the perfect spot. I couldn't have got any better than the anchor job. Because we can fish behind us, to the left of us, and in front of us. All right, guys, a little uh, 11, 11 incher. We're both basically using the same thing. Chartreuse soft plastics. His is more of a ring, ring tail, curly tail style. Mine's a paddle tail. I keep spinning, but not real bad. Try to lower current myself. I got the license now. Reno, Arkansas. About 20 minutes from my house. It's all just sand down there. There ain't no current like this either. Barely moves along. It's kind of like the black though just bends over and over. Really? I got my camera on, Will. Yes, you do. Oh, 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 good job, buddy. Man, right when you found that drop. And I, and what did I say right after that? I bet there's one there then. Yeah, that's a nice one, man. That's a, he's probably 17 or 18. That's about 18 on the hair jig. All right, let me definitely zoom in on you with the lure still in it. All right, Will just caught the first walleye of the day. He's using a, is that a three quarter ounce? Three quarter ounce bucktail. Red and chartreuse, the chartreuse head. Good job, man, hold it up good for us. We'll get a good view of you. That's gonna make the video there. <laughs> I'm glad. We finally had our luck. Guys, uh, five minutes ago, I was just talking. I said, I'm getting a walleye this year. I don't care if I gotta go every weekend. Awesome, that's a nice one. You wanna measure it and probably keep it? Probably. He's probably 18. I'll get my measure out. Measuring device. I knew instantly. You can just tell. They're on that. So what? You was fishing straight down below us then? I threw it about. You see where the water's boiling out past the foam? Yeah. I just threw it up and just bounced it about four times back this way. My goodness. <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna get a measurement on this. I'm gonna go. I moved it out to 19 just to locked it. I want to hold it too when you're done. 
seven. Seven. Oh, uh, we can't keep it. Now. Yeah. That's a shame. Almost. So I need to do a jig head minnow thing then. Don't you think? Be the smartest. Wasted money on them. Alright guys, we're gonna get a good view of Will's walleye here. It's a nice little one. It's a start. It made our trip worth it. Around here where we live, a good day is if you get one, and if you get two, it's a great day. That's how hard it is to catch walleye here in southeast Missouri, at least in the area we live at. What you want is these days like this where it's overcast the entire day, and that's when you're gonna have your best luck. Man, that's gorgeous though. One inch shy of being able to keep it. They gotta be 18 around here. Tell you what, Hopped out of the canoe and walked over here. About uh, 12, yeah, 12 inches. That might have been the one I had. There's a few in here still. But that day me and her was here, it was like every one was two to three pounds. That water was still warm though. I guess that makes a difference. Yes. All right, I'm on one, guys. Hey, this one's bigger. Maybe. No. Told you it's worth coming over here. We each got one that made it worth it. <laughs> this lure works, I guess. A weird looking thing. I don't even know. It's a moxie grub. That's it's their version of a grub. I caught him on the four inch green moxie grub with a quarter ounce orange jig head. Spotted bass, 11 inches. We started thinking there wasn't any in here because of the time of the year, but they're still set in here. It has water current going through it, barely. I've never really fished this. I've had these things for two years and never used one. Right by the bank. Yeah, go ahead. There's plenty of different kind. All right, this is a large mouth, about 10 or 11 inches. No giants yet on the bass. But we did catch fish today. It was a fun day, it ended up being a good day. Especially with the uh, two small mouth and the walleye. He was literally right in front of me. I think smallmouth are just as easy to catch in the winter. Oh yeah, that's a nice one, man. All right, Will, on the chartreuse swim bait. It's a nice spotted. He's a pound and a half. Hold on a minute. Let me get one more knot on here and I'll zoom. That's a nice spotted bass, man. Oh yeah. Awesome. We really did pretty dang good today for what time we had. And it ain't over, folks, because we're still here. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere until it starts really raining. Right now, it's just drizzle. Oh, there's so many snags back here. Let's hold where we're at or maybe anchor. I guarantee if you throw it that way and sweep the bottom, gonna get a walleye, but I don't know how far some of these trees are out there either. There we go. Oh yeah. It's a bass. Small mouth, big one though. What did I just say, it worked. No, it's a spotted. 
That's still a nice one. These spotted in here, they're kind of like a brown color and they'll fool you all the way to the boat. <laughs> ah, I switched to the pink pulsar, guys. Got a fish on it almost instantly. Man, we caught probably 10 already. Damn near. All right, guys, pink pulsar, plain football, quarter ounce, four out hook. Nice little spotted. Yeah. Not bad. It had me pumped up. I'm thinking we should do like I just said though. I didn't get hung. If you stay out on the edge of that current. <clears throat> oh man, oh smallmouth. Hey, it's a fish though. Boy, they're stacked in here, ain't they? It's a nice one. All right. I'll definitely have you hold that one up. Don't hold him up with the lure and it looks cool. <laughs> All right, Will got a nice smallmouth. He's about pound, pound and a quarter. We're doing good, guys. Last day of November, freezing conditions, or near freezing. It's probably 35 drizzling rain most people would want to stay home today but we're just too hardcore for that we get out in it we don't care me and him fish all year round we see we've learned that some of these are the best times of the year pink and orange that's not hair well yours ain't hair either it's the shiny stuff yeah tinsel or whatever they call it Man, that definitely was a walleye. It was nothing else. Yeah, I got it to the top and seen it. Yeah. I was busy turning my camera on, but I, so I didn't get to see. So they're on the edge of the current, basically. About 10 feet in front, where that boil is. That huge boil. All right, folks, I just got <clears> a nice, he's about a 19, 18 or 19 inch chain pickerel on the missile swim bait. We just got out of them main river out of the canoe and we was coming back to get my vehicle and uh, decided we'd throw here in the lake once or twice. They've been real stubborn and we had to pester this guy a lot to get him to bite. About four cast actually letting it fall right in front of his face. Not too bad. Nice. I didn't get any this big last week. Yeah, he ain't a bad size one. I just got my second chain pickerel, and as I was reeling this one in, another one folded all the way to the bank. I was hoping Will could get him. This is another nice one. He's 17 or 18. Wow. Man, fishing in the rain, guys. Freezing our butts off in the rain in the winter time and catching fish. Wow. You want one? All right, guys, we gotta get out of here. It's starting to pour. I guess show me holding it real quick and then we'll go. All right, guys, we gotta get out of here. It's starting to rain too hard even for our liking. Second pickerel today. All right. 